And good evening, everybody. Welcome in uh, to tonight's episode of The Lost Frontier. I am just realizing that my captions are not set up at the moment, but now they are. Hello! Um, my name is Anita. I am your GM for this evening. We have been running this uh, Star Trek Adventures campaign uh, for the last little bit here. Um, and we are in Season 2, Episode 2. Uh, but uh, this game is nothing without its players, so we are going to uh, get to their introductions. Uh, starting, uh, we'll do it in reverse order tonight, uh, with uh, with our our lovely duck friend uh, Milan. Hello, I'm Milan, also known as Mallard on the Internet. I will be playing Lieutenant Junior Grade Arthur Rubin using they/he pronouns. Amazing. Um, and next up, we've got Wasa. Hey everyone, it's Wasa. I use they them pronouns and I am playing Lieutenant Commander Nalani Nadan, the pilot who uses she they pronouns. And last but certainly not least, AJ. Hi, uh, I'm AJ, also known as Sushi Kid. I am playing Acting Commander Dr. Tixel Tix, who uses he they pronouns, and I am a <laughs> nurse. Uh, and I'm usually Amanita, uh, but I already said that, uh, and this is this is my channel, uh, so you can find me either Panita or at Critical Misses Online. Uh, we are missing uh, our wonderful science officer. Uh, she uh, had a little bit uh, of a uh, bug. She's under the weather at the moment, uh, but is uh, sending all of us uh, her love, and uh, we're sending Sarah all of our love as well, because... Um, because we miss we miss her face um but yeah uh who wants to uh give me a brief recap of what went down uh last episode for a point of momentum oh you know nothing nothing too severe happened it was just a gentle frolic in time just some time um, soup just some, some time soup that we decided to, well, not decided, we were forced to swim in. Um, we, well, L Lieutenant Taru identified that there are a couple of blips on sort of the outskirts of our radars. The first one being our beloved Savan, who later we found out was being affected by the tachyon rays so severely that they were experiencing multi multiple universes of themselves within their persons and uh there was a wonderful mind meld moment between Taru and Savan um very cute and after 
what else did happen? We did also find another anomaly, which was, I believe, a tear of some form further away. And we quickly figured out that the tachyon rays were severely affecting our systems, our ship, and eventually we did need to evacuate. And unfortunately, in that process, uh, we lost our beloved acting captain, Lieutenant Commander Dovin Baran. I believe that's mostly it. That is a, a very good summation. Um, so yeah, we'll give you all a point of momentum for this episode. Um, just to let everybody know, it's probably going to be uh, nothing too serious. Uh, ship needs to undergo some fairly extensive repairs uh, from the damage in the time soup um, portions of the uh, of the um, ship. Uh, the engineering teams need to definitely uh, be at full capacity today. Uh, so we will start. Um, we'll start uh, actually because this was, uh, we determined off screen that uh, with everything that happened, um, the ship undergoing heavy damage, uh, the captain still being out of commission, um, we will, uh, we will uh, go to the office of Dr. Tixel Tix. What are you doing, Tix? Um, uh, Tix is, Tix is, like, writing in their notebook, uh, just like, you know, it sounds dumb, just, uh, and, uh, I think, uh, every so often, um, Nurse Shark is gonna come in, I just uh, realized that a nurse shark is an actual type of shark, too. <laughs> which makes it even cuter. Uh, nurse shark comes in uh, every so often with just... Uh, just, like, so more, more reports uh, and, uh, and some updates. Uh, is there anything else I can get you, Doctor? <sighs> Uh, just a cup of tea as uh, something to help like take your mind off of this <sighs> thank you nurse shark um, just listen i know casualty reports are never easy if there's anything i can do to help uh, if you want i can also uh, arrange for counselor already to come have a talk with you uh, I, I'm going to summon the staff after I send out this message. Um, Have they managed to get the communications back online? I'm still waiting for confirmation, but um, if you can, um, after I do send out the message, we are going to have a memorial for those that we lost. So can I entrust you to uh, oh, set that up? I'll, I'll make arrangements. Thank you. Uh, and uh, Nurse Shark, um, what pronouns does Nurse Shark use? Uh, they, them. They, them? Uh, they'll back out of the office. And uh, Tix will just kind of like fiddle with uh, their badge uh, until they get confirmation uh, that comms are at s somewhat capacity back up and also just kind of like every so often just just feel Nara are you where are you 
There is no answer. You feel like there should be. Every time the silence that that greets you just takes a little. And, yeah, he'll just wait until they let him know. Um, Lieutenant Junior Grade Arthur Rubin. Uh, you have been tasked with, uh, fixing the, uh, communications array on the ship so that, uh, you can send out a distress signal. Uh Uh-oh. How's that going for you? Uh, well, that's not one of, uh, Ruben's specialties, but we're a little short-handed here. That Uh, you are. Should I roll something to see how it's going? Yes, please. Uh, give me a reason plus engineering roll. Thank you very much. The difficulty is going to be two. Hey, I made it. Nice. Just under the wire. Two successes. Two successes. Nice. Uh, So no additional momentum for that, but uh, you do, uh, you do uh, get your, uh, you you get the communication array as up and running as best as you can under the circumstances. Uh, Two is the bare minimum to get it uh, operational. Um, uh, More successes would have got you more uh, signal clarity, but for now, uh, uh, would you like to report to the commanding officer? Uh, Of the ship or just my supervisor? You can always, uh, I think, uh, Dr. Tix has uh, left instructions for you to, for whoever was responsible, to let him know as soon as possible. Awesome. I will uh, go ahead and go to the office of of our acting captain. Uh, Tix, uh, uh, walking through the door, uh, you see, uh, would you like to describe what uh, Arthur Rubin looks like? For the audience yeah i would love to uh slightly tan skin bespectacled strange for the star trek era but is um Lurch to with... retinax exactly uh stubbly on like five o'clock shadow currently and short uh hair that's not quite it looks like it was buzzed like a couple months ago and it's just barely coming back um a s- bit of a leaner, lankier person. Awkward and gangly looking. Uh, and uh, you would recognize this as... Uh, uh, it takes you make it a, a point to know everyone on the ship. Uh, this is Lieutenant Junior Grade Arthur Rubin. I uh, got the thing working, Captain Doctor. Doctor Captain? Which, which one? Which I... Just... Doctor, it's fine. I'm more used to that. Of course. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, all the way out here, subspace, bouncing it and getting it into the anomaly, I can't promise anything, but uh, the message will arrive at some point. It's the best that we, it's the best that we can do right now. Um, thank you. Uh, go uh, help assist uh, Savan in the in the engine room. Um, and uh, it's at that point that your GM has spent a point of threat, and uh, Savan uh, comes into the uh, the sick bay being propped up by Cheeks. Uh, <sighs> Do you got a bed in here? Yeah. Uh, it just immediately gets up, clears off uh, the bed that's next to uh, Captain Till. And, and uh, yeah, a Cheeks uh, said uh, they just collapsed. Uh, they were working on a plasma conduit and everything was going fine. And I'm, my guess is, I don't know, might still be some... I, 
And Sylvanas, I'm fine. I can handle myself. I just got a little dizzy. That's all. This, this, this got to be some side effect from the, from the mind melt. Just rest up for now. Uh, you, not... Do you want to do like a quick, can you give me a reason plus medicine roll? Yes. Just to, just a quick right. diagnosis. Uh, this is going to be a difficulty one, not hard. Good chance for you to get some more momentum. Yeah. Uh, 12 and five. Oh, easy. Yeah, that, uh, that'll get you an extra point of momentum right there. And uh, you uh, you scan it, and it is, it's, uh, there are some, uh, um, there are some anomalous brain activity, like some, some in your scans, that could point to uh, either something being wrong with the mind melt, or maybe even some residual leftover from the uh, temporal, uh, the temporal void that you all were stuck in. You need to rest. It's, not, it's nothing that bed rest wouldn't help or wouldn't hurt. And yeah, you need to rest, Savan. You've been on your feet. Listen, ever since I am. The mind melt. I am perfectly fine. I can handle it. And then uh, she goes to stand up. And buckles and cheeks catches her. Okay, maybe I need to take a nap. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm just gonna uh, hypo hypo spray, um, and uh, he's like, "We need to rest. We will. I'll let you know." When the memorial starts? Oh yeah, that's today, isn't it? That's today. At but that point, to uh, Taru uh, walks in to uh, sick bay. What has happened here? Savan's dizzy. And from my quick diagnosis... It could be a side effect from the mind meld. It could be a side effect from hmm. from her being in the 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 anomaly without any protection. Uh, I was concerned something things. like this would happen. Uh, if it uh, would please you, Doctor, I can take Savan uh, to a meditation space on the holodeck uh, that we could potentially help alleviate some of these symptoms. Yeah. Sean's just like, do I have to? Yes. That's an order. Can't boss me. And then so Vaughn, uh, uh, Taru comes and uh, takes uh, um, Savan's arm and places it, it around her neck and they both leave sick bay together. Okay. Hands and cheeks, please take Junior Lieutenant Ruben and try to try to see if we could get some more power. Uh yeah. Uh yeah, Doc. Uh I'll Rubes, come with me. I'll just go ahead and follow. My supervisor. Actually, I realized that uh, Cheeks is an ensign, so you actually outrank Cheeks. Oh, Cheeks is an ensign. Oh, I, I was pretty sure that we made Cheeks an ensign. Yeah, I think it's. So what? yeah, you can so let me let me, let me let me rephrase <laughs> that. Of all right, um, junior uh, junior lieutenant Ruben, please take uh, follow ensign Cheeks. Uh, to where Savan was, see if we could get any more power to ship, because the longer we're dead in the water, the worse it's going to be. Found. All right, Jeek, let's take a dander and go over to the engine room. Aye, aye, Doctor. 
and Jake's and uh, Reuben begin to leave the sick bay. Uh, we'll shift over to Nalani. Uh, what has Nalani been up to? Um, is there a need for like a ferrying of escape pods back to the ship? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think Nalani would have probably been like, I'll uh, make sure that we have a few more people come back home and uh, start heading out and yeah. starting to. Um, make me a. <laughs> Milan, why? I love it. Uh, uh, make me a uh, control plus con check uh, to see how many of these you're able to uh, get back. Um, do I use small craft yeah, as absolutely. a focus? You are, what, uh, I, what I would assume uh, or what I would think Nalani is doing is Nalani is taking out one of the runabouts and is mm -hmm. uh, most of these runabouts do come, in fact, all of these runabouts come equipped with a, with a tractor beam. Um, that uh, you can use to grab hold of these escape pods and start bringing them back, uh, recalling them back to the ship. Uh, because the ship sustained a lot of damage and the automatic recall isn't quite working the way that uh, you had hoped it would. So basically okay. what you're doing is you're putting these escape pods back with the people in it back into the ship. You're manually docking them. Okay, sweet. Uh, that is three successes. Nice. Um uh is there anything that you would like to do with it you have an extra uh it was a difficulty too uh, and you're able to get uh all of them back in over the course of a couple of hours um you do have an extra point if you like uh you can uh bank that momentum or there is uh there are uh other things that you can do to actually you know what uh, <clears throat> no, you're with a three. I'm going to say that you've got an extra point of momentum and you're able to get everybody back pretty safely and pretty securely, uh, over the course. It, it takes you like the better part of a day, uh, but you are able to do so. Excellent. I like message ticks being like, I've got them all back doctor and, uh, heading in now. Great work, Nalani. Thank you. Um, Tix, I think this is probably one of the first quiet moments that you've had uh, after all of the busyness of people coming in and out of your office. What do you want to do? I think uh, Tix has got to go to the comm station to try to send out a distress signal easily done you can do that from your uh from your terminal in your office yeah <laughs> so he's just <clears throat> here goes this is the uss solstice to starfleet i repeat this is the uss solstice priority one i I'm Acting Commander Dr. Tixel Tix. We found the USS Riley that has been reported missing, the wormhole anomaly, and the source of the reality shifts. Captain Haro is hostile. It is going against the Prime Directive. This is a warning to the rest of Starfleet. We are doing everything in our power to find out where and when we are. The solstice has sustained critical damage and losses. Captain Till is currently out of commission and we have lost Lieutenant Commander Baram, Lieutenant Tamara Porest, Ensign Caval Fuga, Dr. Merlin Tuttle, and Ensign Arnit Kato. I'm hoping this message is not too late. If it is, I'm sorry. And we'll end transmission. 
Make me a insight oh plus security check. Oh boy. Good at insight. Not good at security. I don't think I don't think anything will, will <laughs> work for me. Uh Okay. Uh Okay. Fuck. That's a 20 and a 2. I will. You send off a transmission. God. And uh Tix will go and uh, I guess find, uh, find go find Ari. Um, Ari uh, has been in their office uh, seeing uh, people pretty much all day when a tragedy happens. Counselors are usually the first uh, people, first thing that people go to to talk to uh, if they're ready. Uh, but Ari's just sort of finishing up with one, uh, one, uh, client or one, uh, crew, uh, person and, uh, uh, think about what we said. Um, this is, sometimes this is unavoidable and we always, we try to make do with what we have in circumstances that are extraordinary don't be afraid to come back if you uh, need help and um, if you're still having trouble sleeping just try some of those meditation techniques that i tried and uh, that valerian root tea uh, very helpful putting me to sleep uh, and if it gets worse um, I, I would recommend uh, going to see oh dr tix We'll we'll talk a little bit more later. Uh, yeah, we'll nod towards the personnel that was leaving. Doctor, give it to me. Give it to me straight, Ari. How how bad is it? You or the crew? Yeah. In the face of loss and tragedy, as, as I've been saying all day, we try to make sense of a senseless situation. And... Sometimes we come up empty. But what we do is we lean on others. We make sure that our support networks are strong. And we realize that this too shall pass. It's... Grief is like an ocean. You're never really done with it. Sometimes the waves will come up and swallow you whole again, but then the storm passes. Just try to keep yourself afloat. That's your only job in this circumstance. You know, it's been years since I lost someone. As and it's, a doctor. It's never any easier. It's never easier. But as a doctor, I took pride in that. 
It's a pride that I was able to keep my crew safe. I know it's not my fault. It isn't I know. your fault, Doctor. Convincing yourself is one thing. And it's a dangerous beast. Difficult to tame. Dovum saved us. He did. And because of that, we can be here for the ones that remain. They sent out a transmission to Starfleet. Any response I don't know yet? if they'll get it. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to get it. But it's out there. For better or for worse. So of them, Savan might be suffering major side effects from the mind meld. True is helping them at the moment, but we're going to be going to be on standby. And you've arranged the memorial service for the fallen, correct? Your shark has been very helpful with that. You know, we don't have to do this right away. We can wait until the ship's repaired. There's no timetable on any of this. We can make sure the ship's in repair. We can help the injured tend to ourselves, and then we can mourn the fallen. I think having a moment of all of all of our crew come together in the midst of this would be cathartic for a lot of us. Especially since we've for been going... For a lot going... of us or for you? We've been going nonstop since we got back on the solstice. You didn't answer my question. Does the crew need this? Or do you need this? You don't have to put your needs on other people. They can still be your needs. need this then that's what we'll do doctor I would recommend much like Savon that you take a needed rest I appreciate the suggestion.
I could make it in order. But if you also need to work through this, I'll let it slide. I need to keep going until Till wakes up again. Okay. If I don't, I'll be lost in the water. Well, aphorisms aside, you know that my door's always open. Take care of yourself, doctor. As a friend, Take care of yourself. One thing at a time, right? One thing at a time. And that's where we're going to close that scene for now. <laughs> Hi, that was a big, heavy, emotional moment. What are Cheeks and Ruben up to? <laughs> Give me that Cheeks content, please. <laughs> uh, uh, Ruben, uh, what are you and Cheeks up to? Milan. Uh, we are just working in the engine room, I guess. Uh, so on your or, way back, uh, sorry, go ahead. I'll, I'll put Cheeks on some routine assignments and, uh, I'll go mess around in the engine room a little bit and fix stuff. Okay. Uh, there's a couple other engineering teams that are working with you right now. Um, you're not the highest ranking person in engineering. There is like, uh, there is a Lieutenant commander, uh, that is, uh, currently working, um, as well and like handing out assignments. Uh, and, uh, uh, he looks at you and Cheeks, uh, you reported to the doctor? Yeah, uh, deflect, or the, the, the communications array is back up, so I guess we're trying to fix the reactor right now. Uh, yeah, if you and, uh, you and Cheeks want to take team that, uh, we're trying to get, uh, we're trying to get the, uh, the rest of the secondary systems, uh, online, uh, Life support also took a hit, so that's why it's a little bit hotter in here than it should be. Uh, so uh, if you can uh, if you can get uh, some more power to the grid, we can uh, get started on that. All right. I would like to do an engineering task with a focus in uh, fusion reactors. Hex. Yeah, you can. Uh, so yeah, make me a do 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 control plus engineering roll, please. I'm better at daring. That's fine. What's the worst that could well, happen? Well, I mean... Two successes is not the worst. Two successes is not the worst. Uh, that uh, That's exactly what you needed uh, to help start this process along. Um, you and Sheiks are sort of... Uh, and Sheiks is going to assist you, actually. Uh, Sheiks rolled a seven. Uh, so that's, uh, that's a solid hand from, from our... Our uh, ensign, our lovely ensign, uh, and gives you an extra point of momentum. Um, uh, cheeks, uh, like so. When did you you came aboard over at uh, the at uh, at Deep Space Five, right? Me? Oh, uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Was a new transfer there. Yeah, where'd you cut? Like, what other ships were you on? This is my first ship, actually. Really? Were you just working yeah, I've on been Deep a... Space Five? No, um, I'd only been on Deep Space Five for a few months. I get transferred a lot. Uh, I've been working in a few observational posts, uh, a science facility once, just doing routine maintenance there. Uh, I'm very excited to finally be on a ship. Uh, well, 
You sure picked a heck of a ship to come aboard on. <laughs> I know. Isn't that lucky? Sure. I mean, just think. Someone's going to write a book about this. Maybe it'll be one of us. I'm no good at writing, though. Oh. Someone, you think someone's going to write a hollow novel about us? Oh, right. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, where I grew up, we still use just books. Uh, but yeah. Uh, oh, paper Someone's media. got him. Yeah. I'm from an agricultural colony, so, you know. Uh, oh. Uh, I'm, I'm actually from, I'm an agro kid myself. Uh, oh, nice. I uh, grew up on, uh, grew up on a farm colony. <laughs> uh, regular barn cat. <laughs> yeah. My parents were shepherds, so, you know. I can wrangle animals pretty well. Well, uh, if you can uh, wrangle animals, uh, then I'm sure you're going to have no problem uh, moving up the ranks in engineering. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the two of you uh, finish up your work on the reactor and uh, go to report uh, in to the lieutenant. Uh, the lieutenant whose name is... Um, uh, Errol, uh, Errol Chandler is the name of this, uh, engineer, uh, the lieutenant commander that's currently in charge. Uh, and, uh, you, uh, go to report to the lieutenant, uh, but you find him unconscious on the ground in engineering. Uh, I'm going to go over... I am going to go over and see if I can tell what's wrong. Uh, make me a reason plus medicine check. All right. That's two successes right on the margin. 12 and 13, and I got 13. Amazing. Uh, you can tell that uh, it looks like there was some sort of electrical discharge from the console that he was working at. Um, and uh, he's unconscious currently, but is uh, is unable, uh, is, uh, is stable-ish. Um, uh, Cheeks uh, taps on uh, their comm badge immediately. Uh, uh. Uh, uh cheeks to Dr. Tix? Go for doctor. Uh, Lieutenant Commander Chandler, uh, looks like, uh, had, uh, is unconscious. Can, can, can you come, uh, have a look? I'm on we're my way. We're still trying to get transporters back up and running. I'm on my way. He'll be... Uh, I said cheeks. I think he'll be fine. He's just a little shocked. Uh, he's like, he wasn't wearing... I, I don't know why everyone should have a pair of gloves in their toolkit. Don't just touch a plasma conduit without gloves on. Uh, he was working at just a, a workstation, and uh, if you like, you can inspect the workstation. I'm going to put my gloves on. For sure. <laughs> I would love to... I don't have any particular focus of this, I don't think. I don't suppose explosives counts, does it? it does not. Got it. Uh, what cool. are your focuses? Uh, cybernetics, explosives, xenoanthropology, fusion reactors, transporters, and my personal favorite, animal handling. Uh, none of these apply. Got it. So, am I just rolling reason engineering? Uh, yes, please. Ooh, not as good. But that is still two successes. Uh, two successes is what you needed. The console looks perfectly fine. 
and there does not seem to be any sign of tampering. Just some sort of electrical current came through the uh, came through the uh, through the panel. We should make a note of that. Um. It's strange. Uh, I. S it's. It, it does look like it, like there wasn't. Yeah, like uh, some sort of overload happened on the panel with two successes. Unclear as to what caused it yet. It's a little bit of a mystery. Interesting. Okay, uh, I mean now with the dude now with with all my su supervisor out, does that make me acting <laughs> head of engineering currently? <laughs> uh, there is, uh, yeah, I guess that would make you current head of engineering. Well, no, there's probably like some other lieutenant commanders that are still wandering around that, engineering. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, yeah, uh, but. Uh, Dr. Tix, you arrive uh, at the scene, um, and uh, do, do, do. I'm also going to say, uh, is there, uh, this seems like it might be a little bit of a mystery, like, there might not have been foul play involved, but there also you also haven't necessarily ruled that out, Arthur. Uh, if you like to, you could probably rope in uh, uh, Commander Nadon, who is uh, unfortunately currently the closest thing that you have to a security officer on board. Like, there's other people that are uh, in it, but uh, senior staff have sort of been moved around ranks a little ways. Interesting. Uh, I will... I will just uh, uh, hail... Not hail, that's not the term. Use my communicator to get uh, Nilani to come check out the console. That's All Commander right. Nadon to you. <laughs> Commander Lieutenant Nadon. Nadon. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander <laughs> Nadon to you. <laughs> I don't know you. You don't know them. <laughs> you don't know so just them. this random calm. Oh, uh, yeah. Um. I'm on my way. Uh, fill me in while I'm heading there. What's going on? Uh, Ruben, you want to give the Cliffs notes? You can say you give the Cliffs notes to Nilani. Yeah, I was going to look for some techno babble to just come up with. <laughs> there is a techno babble yes. chart in this game, and I love it dearly. I was trying to find the chart. I could not find it, though. Uh, there is uh, some sort of EPS conduit malfunction uh, in the secondary relay of this uh, comms terminal. Uh, it's unclear what caused it. There you go. There's I like a that. long pause. Like a long pause. And then the... Gotcha. All right. Nelani <laughs> <laughs> um, will head in and... Uh look at the situation more i guess we're looking at the control panel yeah it's a it's a standard uh elcar's computer terminal uh if you like you can uh dig a little deeper into the programming uh they checked it from an engineering sense i, I believe you have got focuses in computers though yeah security systems and investigative techniques and heck espionage so heck yeah uh so make me a uh reason plus security role quickly Okay, hey, nice. That is a seven and a four. So I believe that is. Is it four and under that's a crit? Or uh, three and under is my. Two? So what is your security at? Four. It's a four? So it would be a four and under is a crit. Okay, sweet. Um, seven and a four. So three successes. Very nice. Uh, with three successes, something caused this panel to overload. It shouldn't have overloaded. Um, 
something's afoot here. You can use that extra point of momentum. If you like, you can bank it, or you can use it to ask a follow-up question. Mm, yeah, I. if I can, folks, I will use one of those to... Can I ask, like, or like, can I determine where the source came from? Or, like, what triggered the source of this malfunction? Uh, yes, uh, there is a subroutine uh, in the system uh, that looks like it's acting a little peculiarly. Uh, peculiarly? Thank you, Okay. Vivi. I will uh, let everyone know. There's a... This subroutine here isn't, isn't acting the way it should. Um, which caused this, this malfunction. It's not, this isn't normal. Um, if I can grab a hand just trying to identify or like target the subroutine and... Uh, uh, Cheeks is like, yeah, I can, I, I, can, I know my way around a good program. Uh, give me a sec, let me help you out with that. Cheeks didn't do great, did they? <laughs> That's a 20. Uh, the GM is going to get a point of threat and spend it immediately. That console, Chaix, uh goes in to uh, uh, sort of dig around in the code a little bit. Uh, and the exact same electrical surge that must have taken out uh, uh, Lieutenant Commander Chandler also hits Chaix. Uh Chaix is going to make a... Uh, fitness plus security to try and jump out of the way. Before. Can I? Can I help? Like with my, because Delgani would probably be relatively aware that this is like a like a wired console. If you would and, like, like to help Cheeks, like... uh, uh, and like grab them, grab him by the scruff of his neck and pull him back. Yeah, and that's just one dice. Uh, give me one die, yeah, to assist. Fitness security. Fitness plus security, yeah. You see this, you see, as Cheeks begins to, like, examine the code, there is the slightest hint of a spark. Okay, I got a success, just. Okay, Cheeks got, uh... Uh... Uh, Cheeks got a... Uh, success as well. So that's two successes, and you're able to just barely pull Sheiks away as this uh, a, a, a electrical surge sparks off of this terminal. Uh, Dr. Tix, would you be able to make me a, uh, a reason plus medicine roll uh, just to sort of diagnose and treat uh, the lieutenant commander? My best stuff. The right stuff. It's my best stuff. I need my stuff. focus on xenobiology. Or emergency medicine. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's two successes. Two successes? Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, some sort of electrical surge uh, came through. Uh, and you're able to sort of uh, get... Uh, you know that he'll probably come to in just a little bit. Um you're able to treat, uh, there was a couple of burns superficial on his hands uh, that you're able to treat. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going sit, to sit him like, up against a wall instead it, of him being like lying on his back. He sort of comes to a little bit. Oh, what the heck? Huh. Hey, uh. Hi, doctor. Uh, Why am I on... all right, Lieutenant Commander? There was some sort of uh, anomalous subroutine in the system, and as soon as I tried to probe into it, check it out, it, uh... I woke up on the floor here. Yeah, you got... You, you got pretty shocked there. Uh, uh, how's my hair? How, how's their hair? <laughs> It's immaculate. Fine. Immaculate. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Roll for hair. <laughs> um, uh, okay. So, so okay. it's not like in the cartoons where, like, if you get shocked, it all stands up on end. Mm, no, no. That's, 
It's not what happened. Oh, that's a little disappointing, but okay. Maybe it happened like briefly while like it was go like the current was active in your body, but I guess no one was there to see it, so we can't confirm that. I'll pull up security footage a little later and we'll see. <laughs> but anyways, there's there's some sort of subroutine in the system and uh I can't it's I can't quite pin it down. I couldn't quite pin it down and then that happened and I think we uh, we need to work on figuring out what that is before it starts causing more damage. Lieutenant mm -hmm. Commander Nadan, have you I'm, something? Uh, I'll uh I'll take over from here, I guess. Uh let's see what we can do. Heck yeah. If it's anomalous, why don't we just delete it and see what happens? You think I didn't try that? That's the first thing I tried. Now I'm on the floor. Oh, uh, you know. Well, the thing is we need to identify what the subroutine does first, because what happens if it's just, you know, in the wrong place? If we put it back in the right place, it should be okay, right? And uh I think, like, as a side, like, Nalani is like, I have worked with a rogue subroutine before, and that was a, that was a... A full... <laughs> uh, that is Dr. Tix's, that was Dr. Tix's uh, partner at one stage, so Nalani is not about to delete a subroutine. So uh, Nalani will attempt. Could I provide assistance... Absolutely, you can. And use my uh, um, ability, I know my ship. Whenever you attempt a task to determine the source of a technical problem with your ship, add one bonus d20. Go for it. So Good. my help would add two d20? Yeah, uh, so I'm going to ask uh, you, Ruben, for a reason plus engineering role, and then uh, Nalani for a... Uh, a uh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, this is going to be a hmm, reason plus security as well. Okay, can do. Um, and also, or so insight I plus security. Let's say. I also have computer expertise, which means that I can add a bonus d20 to my pool. Heck yeah! If Get it all the is d20s. A programming or studying of a computer system. Amazing! Yeah. Okay, sweet. I'll do that. And that was, what was that, sorry? Uh, insight plus security. Seven, and then reason eight, plus nine, engineering nine, for uh, Ruben. I got two. Two successes? Yeah. I have two successes. That's four successes total. Uh, you all uh, grab the, uh, you uh, are able to, you get to a different terminal, not this one, uh, and you begin to sort of try and isolate the uh, portions of this subroutine uh, that are uh, not quite behaving. Uh, it looks like it's hiding in something. Uh, it, it is, in fact, hiding uh, in the uh, environmental controls, which is why uh, it's been, uh, like Chandler mentioned, a little bit hot in, the, uh, in engineering. And uh, you... Uh, pull it up and you isolate it. Portions of this code look very, very familiar. Familiar in the way that Dr. Tix would like to know? Familiar in very much the way that Dr. Tix would like to know. I will. Is Does, uh, does Arthur know about... Um... I think well, pretty much everybody on the ship would would know a little bit about Nara. I think Lower okay. Deck's rumors has okay. uh, spread. Yeah, did you hear the doctor was dating a Borg? A Borg? Um, Dr. Tix, uh, you might want to have a bit of a look at this, but this subroutine has has some familiarity. It's uh, very Nara here, what I'm finding. Oh, Tix perks up at the mention of Nara's name. <laughs> there is, there, like I said, there are portions of the code that look familiar to Nara. 
but it's not all exactly the same. It's slightly off. Uh, and if you like, you did get a whole buttload of bonus momentum, you could spend mm -hmm. for extra questions if you like. Or you can make them for later. You all want to ask a question? Ticks? <laughs> um, I'm trying to figure out what it would uh, You did be. have two extra pl points of momentum on top of what you rolled. Is what what specifically are I guess the differences? Like, like is it just a few changes here and there, or is it like there is are... it give is it giving me? A little bit more of a multiverse madness of this is like an alternate Nara from a different universe. How we kind of how we dealt with Swan, or is this like compromising, like compromising code within Nara's original code in a sense? It portions of it almost look like it's been upgraded. You knew that uh, that Nara was like a learning. Mm -hmm. uh, a learning and growing thing. There are portions of Nara's original code in this, but other portions of it look like they've been adjusted and elevated. But it's not it. It's not Nara. It's something else. A ghost, maybe. Oh, Nara did spend a lot of time in the ship's computer. Um, we were able to isolate it, right? You were yeah. able to isolate it into a subroutine. Uh, Are this, we able uh, this extra little bit of code, you were able to sort of isolate it into sort of a recursive loop for diagnostics. Are we able to communicate with it? That's a very interesting question. Like, I have some coding language. Let me. Get... <laughs> Are you going to try and uh, and send a message to this entity, this little line of code, this little subroutine? Yeah. Yeah. I've done it this... before. Yeah. Just. What do you need like... to know, Doctor? I'm. I guess just, just say hello who are you you can also use uh because it was a successful task you can also uh use uh and you could use an extra if you uh because you've got you got two points of momentum from that initial uh check mm. you could use one point and then spend another point of your momentum to create an advantage that'd be cool yeah um and then you just need to tell me what kind of advantage you would like to create in this circumstance. I would like to You know what? There has been In Tix's prosthetic arm, hand, mm -hmm. every so often there would be a holographic little monitor for when, when uh, they need to do some scans and just like, it, sometimes if like, like, a, uh, I, like I think, basically I think, a palm, uh, palm yeah. version of a hollow projector. Yeah. So like, this was more useful when he was uh, grow like growing in rank. That like, like if there was like multiple doctors like working on hollow pads and hollow projectors and stuff like that, uh, they would just be like, "Is anyone? Uh, uh, no. All right." Get the scan up on my hand, I guess. 
let me just look. Um, I want to try the advantage of getting this little ghost of a subroutine into my prosthetic hollow projector. Okay. Interesting. As as somewhat of a security personnel in this situation, I would like to ensure that the doctor's hand doesn't get compromised or turn into a gun, basically. <laughs> it doesn't, like, anime-style transform into a weapon? Now, no. I do have a focus in cybernetics. You do have a focus in Let's cybernetics. Start. Isn't that interesting? Isn't it's it? Like, Almost like uh, it was intentional. Oh no, my hands are down. <laughs> oh no. This is a prop. This is a prop. This is a prop. Look, it's orange. Uh, well, with the three of us, I think we can get this working. I'll try and make sure that the channel is secure. The subroutine doesn't, uh, you know, go rogue. Takes his hand as turn into a taser. Yep. Yep. Or just some. It doesn't tase ticks. <laughs> I mean, that might be useful sometimes. It does it turn not... into a tixel taser? Yeah, Doctor Tixel Taser. God. Oh, go, go and gadget. Nurse shark. Taser. <laughs> taser. Taser and shark. Oh my god. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. So, uh, Nalani. This is a weird laser. Uh, reason plus security. Okay. And can I use computer expertise again? Absolutely, you can. Uh, to get that extra d20, Dr. Tix, uh, make me a reason plus engineering or reason plus science. I'm going to do reason plus science. And can I use my xenobiology no. focus? No. Okay. This is not a biological organism. If this was, if you had artificial intelligence as a focus, mm. um. you know, I think poetry will work here. <laughs> <laughs> focus poetry. on poetry, and you laughed at my animal handling. Uh, yeah. Listen, we all have poetry hobbies. is beautiful. Yep, yep. Poetry yeah. was part of my of my therapy. Okay. Well, all I'm going to say is uh, animal Ruben, handling might actually come up. A reason plus engineering up. role, please. You said reason plus science? Uh, yes. So, uh, who is spearheading okay. this, uh, who is spearheading this, uh, transfer? Okay. I feel uh, like I will, because it's a security will, thing. Uh, Nalani will head it. Uh, so Tix and Ruben, uh, one die each, please, for assistance. Unless okay, you have cool. something that can... It's so much better. That would have been a success if I wasn't a uh, young Lieutenant Junior grade, because uh, that is one over what my maximum engineering and reason could be. Oh no! I I three. Oh no! Untapped potential. Oh no! I got five successes. Holy sh! I got one success. I got <laughs> three. <laughs> I got uh, a two, a four. And a 15. Oh, wait, reason security? Yes, yes, uh, sorry, yes. Yes. Five. Yes. Five. So, five successes. Holy moly. Milani's not about to Holy moly get macaroni. another person down. No, not at all. Uh, you take so we the, got six successes. <laughs> you're able to uh, successfully import this subroutine uh, into Tix's hand. And uh, it shows up as... Uh, it looks like a little... Um, has anybody ever watched Tron? You know the little yes and no? Uh, mm. Yeah, uh, so it, it's yeah. just... That sort of like geometric shape. Oh. 
All right. Um. Uh, Lieutenant Commander Chandler. Chandler sort um, of stands. What's up? Uh, you'll be feeling fine in quite a little while. Um, and uh, you should not have any problems now with this subroutine. No problems. Theoretically. You cleared it out? So, uh, Nalani, with like that it. amount of successes, you know for a fact that it is not in the system anymore. It is currently in Dix's hand. Yep, it's uh, it's now someone else's problem. That's certainly one way to put it. <laughs> uh, you shall go ahead and resume repairs. All right, uh, Ruben, cheeks. Uh, I guess it's it's time to get back to work. Uh, I'm gonna need you to uh, climb. You're gonna have to climb through Jeffrey's tubes. We're gonna need uh, uh, some more repairs done to some EPS conduits. Great. And cheeks. All right. My favorite. And before uh, Ruben leaves, I'll like kind of like do that like camaraderie boop on the shoulder of like, good work, junior lieutenant. Um, nice work. Thank you, Lieutenant Commander. If you all need assistance trying to figure out exactly what this is, an engineer might be a good idea to have. Oh, I thought they were leaving. Yeah, let's uh, let's keep the junior lieutenant here. If Given your expertise with uh, cybernetics, it could come in handy with uh, what we have just gifted good doctor. That's, uh, and uh, Chandler sort of stutters a little bit. Uh, very well. Uh, go assist with whatever the heck that is, Ruben. I think Ruben just does like... Ruben probably has like at least ten demerits for not following proper like protocol and just does finger guns and goes. It's all right, so does Nalani. <laughs> <laughs> two are going to be my favorite dynamic. Uh, How gonna, can I tell? I'm gonna call uh, uh Ari, we uh, Come yeah. back, and we're. Uh, I'm bringing. Uh, I'm bringing Lieutenant Commander Nadon and Junior Lieutenant Ruben, and you're gonna probably want to see this. Okay. Um, and I think that that is a good a time as any for us to take our first break. Uh, we are going to go on break, y'all. Uh, we will see you all in about 10 minutes or so. Uh, stop by. And if you liked that uh, that transmission that uh, Tix uh, sent out to Starfleet, uh, you will see what Starfleet uh, received uh, on the break. We will see you all very soon. Welcome, mortals. Welcome to Upon These Crystals is playing Beyond the Twilight Road. And welcome to Forest and Flame on the Critical Misses channel. <laughs> welcome to another episode of King's Guard. A six-part miniseries titled The Growing of the Dim. I would like to cast Witch Bolt on her. Yeah, if we're, can I make six attacks against her? <laughs> it's a thing. I do believe some people wanted to do some goblin blood shots. Oh no. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah uh, we did want to do that. It looks like your plan is half baked. Yeah! <laughs> In between one of the one of the quacks, I'll just get like really loud and just say, run. <laughs> <laughs> Starfleet. Pete, this is the USS Solstice. Priority one. I am Chief Medical Officer Dr. Tiltix. We have found the USS Riley that has been reported missing. The wormhole anomaly and the source of
of the reality shifts. Ken Haro is hostile and is going against the Prime Directive. This is a warning to the rest of Starfleet. We are doing everything in our- I'm hoping this message is not too late. If it is, I'm sorry. That was not a smooth transition, but hey, we're live. <laughs> <laughs> That's the mood today. That is the mood today. Oh. Sometimes, sometimes you need a girl. I got my, I got Let's my click crack go! back. God damn it, Noir. Thank yes. you all for having me, and I'm glad I was on uh, before Bria because there's no way to follow her, so it's good. <laughs> garlic smells it tastes like ass. Will you show me an ass that tastes like garlic? Him, I'm gonna find myself a new partner. No. <laughs> <laughs> Summer of Abria. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you could make someone cry over like Romeo and Juliet, or I could make them cry with a story about a werewolf giving a blowjob. And if I could do that, <laughs> if I could do that, that's a trick to pull off. Today, your PSA is that when you watch streamers, content creators, YouTubers, influencers, you do not actually know them. You may know their name. You may know facts about them. You do not know them. This is your PSA to not be over familiar. Thank you and have a good day. Oh, and that's kind of why, you know, I'm trying to be as unapologetic as possible is because I'm trying to be the person that I needed back when I was growing up. I'm starting, uh, I'm starting Game Gate. Gate. <laughs> Game Gate. <laughs> game game, game um, starts here and it's that game is an actual fey creature uh and they're just messing with us a new ip comes out that's perfect for you mm. right but in, in order for this to exist we have to get rid of another ip and whichever ip you replace it with that's how big it gets star wars bye <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you one motherfucking thing. If you're in Australia, go fuck yourself. Australia. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm picking a fight with the entire goddamn <laughs> continent of Australia. So, go uh, fuck yourself. Uh, tune mate. in for October 24th, uh, our show where we have Wasabate, uh, <laughs> is in fact Australian. And it's promised us one authentic good day. You know what? If your uh -oh. name is Liam O'Brien, go fuck yourself too. It's hands for you on site, Caleb. <laughs> Damn. So what do you want to do about it? Do you want to play this game with me? Or do you want to forfeit? I don't really think you can keep up with me. But I'd love to see you try. Darling. My Brooke Anita! <laughs> my co-host, my co-host has been murdered. You just gotta lie a lot and have one solid apology at the end, and then that is the secret to young justice working every time. <laughs> I feel like that is a Thieves Guild's mantra. <laughs> lie longer, lie better. <laughs> Papa John's. <laughs> <laughs> the Anita quite literally said, um, Noir knows him. <laughs> like, yes. And I was, and I was like, Cosine. All right, welcome aboard. Like, let's, I was like, that is enough for me. Noir knows and likes this person. Well, we can always make a respect women juice flask, you know, so you can have it wherever you go. Uh, I'm already working on putting it on a mug. Excellent. Next, you need shot glasses. Mm -hmm. You're just gonna just take a quick shot of respect women juice. Yeah. 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 Uh. <laughs> I can wear. Where am I? What is it the Jack Eye segment? Did you just black out for a little bit? I was so busy fighting that everything just went red for a second. <laughs> you cannot right. do what I do, like at all. But right. I can't do what you do. Exactly. <laughs> no one can tell your story. No one can sing your song but you.
I always thought like I always realized like critical misses. It's just like you know, it's a film focus channel, and you know the critical. Okay, haha. And then I was like, wait a second. When you roll a one, that's a critical miss. <laughs> it just get the pun. So yes, just I get just the pun. Got the pun. I just got the pun.
we're back. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome back. Uh, so, uh, we have discovered that there is uh, a, a, a micro Nara uh, that is hiding, well, was hiding out in a subroutine, or perhaps a remnant of Nara was hiding out in a subroutine on the ship. It has now been transferred into Dr. Tix's hand. Uh, and with that, uh, you all, uh, where do you meet Ari? Uh, you know, let's meet in my, my, the doctor's office, my office. Okay. Uh, you <laughs> all, uh, Ari, uh, walks in, uh, what, uh, what exactly is going on? I'm... A little bit hopeful, but we found this, and I do the projection. It sort of uh, undulates and pulses. We found this subroutine, and it has parts of Nara's original code. That's interesting. Um, I still don't quite understand why I'm here, but uh, uh, you're, you're you're part of senior staff, and you need to know. Oh, I I, I suppose that's true. Um, I don't think we've ever been properly introduced. Uh, Counselor Ari Shovaskai? Uh, and jun Junior Lieutenant? Uh, yeah. Arthur Rubin. Hi. Engineering. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet okay. you. Okay. Uh, so, so uh, we have a subroutine program uh, that is currently holographic and in your hand. Where do we go from here? And it was in the ship's computer? Yeah, it was uh, messing with the temperature in the, the, the engine room, which seemed familiar when we first met Nara. Of messing with. Um, our... I've read the reports. Uh, they were. Uh, they were messing with the Matador, correct? Correct. Correct. Okay. So, if this is portions of Nara's original code, and it is, uh, according to the reports, uh, it was. Sorry, they were. Um, Focused on self-preservation? Mm -hmm. So what? Uh, I'm assuming someone in engineering might have tried to remove the subroutine? Someone tried to remove the subroutine? They got shocked. They weren't killed. But got shocked and knocked out. So... Um, Kind of nipped it in the bud before it got out of hand. Fix, make me a control plus security check. Well, I guess in my hand. Well, terrible. we don't really know what the function of this thing is yet, but uh, I have an idea that's definitely well thought out and not just an excuse for me to do something. One success and one failure. Uh, was it a complication? No. Okay. Uh, your hand begins to twitch. Just a little. And the, uh, the sprite begins to grow slightly. Mm. Are you feeling that, dog? I think I we might try. need to repot this particular plant. can build a droid. 
get on trying to figure figure out where we can put this. Well, it wasn't I, didn't we have uh, subroutines installed in the holodeck uh, to accommodate uh, Nara's original Nara's code originally? Mm-hmm. Wait, you put yeah. a whole sentient program in the hollow deck? That it's, never goes well. It's not unprecedented. It's happened before. I mean, the only precedent house. I can think of. One time at the space station, there was this Frangi uh, pleasure code that got infected the whole hollow deck system. It took weeks for us to clear it out. But maybe we could find a more closed system that can't control hard light. Um, well, we were able to, well, I mean, currently, uh, and Nari, uh, Ari points to the hand and then pokes the hologram. It moves slightly. I, I kind of want to try to focus and try to see if I could communicate with it in some capacity. Uh, I thought you would never ask. Oh, no. What do you say want, uh, to this little program? Don't worry. We're not going to hurt you. Tex, can you tell me what your focuses are very quickly? <gasps> Poetry. Xenobiology, virology, quantum mechanics, emergency medicine, Starfleet family matters, and poetry. Okay. Let me just... Let me just do one of these things real quick. Oh, actually, one second. Hold on. Hold on a moment. Oh, just, no. a just a tick here. Just a ticks? Just a ticks. Mm -hmm. All right, chat. This is, we're going to, we are sitting here in abject terror as to what our DM is about to do to us. Well, you know, one of the things was family matters, Starfleet family matters. We are just going to realize that it does not at this point in time, right? <laughs> Starfleet oh, family bro. matters. Like a piece descends famously. in gusts and somersaults. <laughs> Actually, the uh, the uh, little AI begins to flash in a pattern. Okay. The little sprite begins to flash in a pattern. Okay. Does it recognize like Morse code, kind of? Do you know Morse uh, code, Doctor? I'm going to start writing it down. The message says... Uh, People with spy training do. Yeah. Oh, hexagonal. absolutely. Um, uh, while the cold is shocking, a piece descends in gusts and somersaults. Oh, do we see this? Uh, it comes um, up on the screen. Oh, uh, like the Morse code comes up on the screen? Uh, it's easy enough to just oh, the uh, program the dots and dashes into uh, okay. a computer terminal, and it uh, it automatically translates through the universal translator as a piece descends in... Uh, uh, where is it? Uh, While the cold is shocking, a piece descends in gusts and somersaults.
whatever that means. I like that when I Google that the, the first the first thing on Google is a terrifying first four words. It's uh, uh, Doctor Tix. If you like, you could make a, a reason plus security. Mm. Uh, and you can your focus in poetry will apply. You know, poetry yeah, is like a art science. Stat. You know, it, it takes a real science to maybe uh, it's a con to to, to <laughs> maybe uh, maybe it's just like maybe it's just a fly like flying a chip. Maybe it's command. Maybe that's the leadership Dude. skill. Medicine, totally medicine. Uh -huh. <laughs> poetry is medicine for the soul. It is, and it really takes it's chicken it's, soup. And it it's is really soup takes for the soul. it really takes a science. And we're in time soup. To construct so. a good poem. I mean, what is poetry but just a coding language for art? So it's engineering. Uh, either way, I get a focus in it, so I get to reroll something. <laughs> uh, so you're, it means that you crit up to your uh, security. Uh, yeah. It's a, geez, I have to crit. It's just a one. I have no security. <laughs> Well, so it's uh, it's reason or it's reason or insight. Reason. Okay. Okay. I didn't crit, but I did get two successes. Okay. Uh, you know that it's from a Earth poem or an Earth poet uh, named John Pock, and uh, it's from a poem called Winter Song. And analyzing the text, uh, you think that uh, this metaphor uh, could mean that. It's cold here, but I feel safe. Uh, and it's like, I, I don't think we have to worry about them. Um, I, I, I'm going to, I'm going, uh, I'm going to, to let, um, uh, junior lieutenant Ruben, if they feel safer, make a, be and go start on making a droid. Or some sort of... Oh some sort of holding you really body for personifying this thing um yeah i i can maybe construct part it would take some time and resources we definitely don't have to spare but i could start making a sunian type android I mean, that's what I went to academy for is learn. Like, I, I, I was just, I even met the android once. Data? I did. I gave a lecture in a, in a O'Brien's class once. My old Starfleet mentor. Start, start working on it. For now. I would like to start an extended task, GM. Okay. Uh, all right. So we're gonna we're gonna do an extended task uh, for you to try and build this Soongian type, the Soong level android. Uh, let me do a quick uh, extended task tracker Star Trek Adventures. All right. Um, Time to break the computer processing barrier. Where are you? Extended task. The small app. 
we were using. So let's say build a robot uh, build is a robot. our task. Uh, the base difficulty, uh, whoosh, uh, this is no easy task and you are but a junior engineer. Um, you need some support, right? So yeah, I do have, uh, you know, I can, I, I'm, I, I got, I know some, I know some science and engineering. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, okay. currently I'm just building the shell. I mean, we can get to the positronic brain at another time. I mean, that's, when we have that's, our chief that, scientist. That's a, <clears throat> that's a whole other task that y'all are going to want to do. Um, yep. So, uh, task is going to uh, so we are going uh -huh. to uh, set an appropriate attribute and discipline for the task. Uh, where is our extended tasks? Uh, base, difficulty, work, track, magnitude, and resistance. And then you get to roll for tasks. Ooh. Um, I am still learning how to do this portion of the game. So please bear with me while I we figure this out. We love learning. Uh, GM chose, chooses the tasks base difficulty, work track, magnitude, and resistance. Uh, so our base difficulty is going to be three. Uh, our resistance is going to be two. And our magnitude is going to be one. Uh, or our magnitude is going to be three. So, um, you get to roll an in some individual tasks, and if it is successful, uh, you get to roll two plus uh, your discipline and your attribute. And then subtract any resistance. The result is work, which is marked towards the work track. If uh, you'll need three breakthroughs, and if you get uh, your five plus work achieved. Uh, if you get five work achieved, you get a breakthrough. If the work track it gets filled or was filled up, uh, you attain a breakthrough. For each breakthrough, the base difficulty is increased by decreased by one to a minimum of zero. Um, once the number of breakthroughs equals the magnitude of the extended task, it is successful. So our magnitude is three. Our base difficulty is three, and our resistance is two. So your resistance is. Uh, going to be the number of successes that um you need to uh you need to beat in order to be successful at a portion of this work track so uh you would need at least three successes in order to be successful well, that's perfectly easy because we got momentum actually to wait burn. sorry 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 uh, base difficulty is three. So difficulty is three. That's the number of uh, die you need to roll. The resistance is two, which means that for every uh, every two successes that you get, um, every two, every uh, yeah, you will you'll need to burn some momentum. You know what? I'll set, I'll set the resistance at one for this, because we are learning. Uh, so that means that you would need uh, three successes to start uh you would actually need four to overcome the resistance because one of them would be burned i'm going to use some momentum on this first rule and i think you had three dice you have okay go for it yeah is there anything anyone uh, is doing to help with this um is there anything computer based absolutely there's a whole ton of okay. programming when it comes to a robot okay Sweet. I can assist with the um, software. Sure. Uh, making sure that the, the coding would allow a easy transition between the um, cybernetic arm and the droid. Mm -hmm. I think that would be a separate task. This currently I'm just okay. constructing the body for. Okay. Oh, so it's just, it's yeah. just metal work. Yeah. Uh, in which case or, I don't have uh, any... replication of parts and such. Yeah, I want it to also be able to feel vaguely human if it touches things. Okay. Oh. Well, that's yeah. when I come in with my science and xenobiology. There you go. But I bought a use of momentum to buy a die. Let's roll. So. That is uh, two successes and a 19. So 
can I should I roll? Sure, uh, Anna, if you're helping out with like construction and assembly. Yeah. So what should I? I'm trying to figure out what should I roll. Uh, uh give me a give me a reason plus science, please. Cool. Because you my... might be able to help like figure out which materials would be most suitable for this task, etc. Mm-hmm. I could also be doing this completely wrong, chat, so uh, bear with me. I am still learning. I got a two. You got two successes? Well, am I rolling two dice or am I just rolling one? I think you roll one if you help. Uh, you would roll one if you help. Yeah, I got a two. So you got a two? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, easy. I mean, if, it, if, if, if I'm using my focus in xenobiology, then that means I crit. Yeah, your focus in xenobiology wouldn't apply at this point. At this stage oh. in the game, it would not apply. Yeah. But that is enough for you uh, to uh, for you to go. If we succeed, I, because of my untapped potential, can roll a d6 and give us bonus momentum when I succeed on a roll that uses momentum. But if nice. I don't do it right, it gives threat. Uh, oh, no. Remind, I, this is also, I don't think, optional, so I gotta roll it. Uh, remind me, how does the d6 work again? What's an effect and what isn't? Uh, okay, so on a d6, a 5 and a 6 is uh, an effect. A uh, 3 and a 4 uh, is, uh, okay, so a 3 and a 4 is a hit. A 5 and a 6 is a hit with an effect. And a, uh, just one sec, one sec. And so, then uh, one and two is nothing. The the ability is vague, because all it says is you roll the d6 equal to the, and then the number is how much momentum you get. Or if you roll an effect, you, you get a threat. Oh, is this untapped potential? This is untapped potential. Yeah, so roll an effect, die for me. Uh, and if So basically, you... if you roll a one, two, three, four, we get that much momentum. Uh, no, if, if you roll a five or a six. I rolled a two. I think that gives you a threat. Oh. Or no, it doesn't. Does it? Does it? Let me check on tap. Yeah, oh, from, so in the way that you were wording it, it seemed like... I literally rolled, looked this up today. Uh, the character three. receives bonus momentum equal to the roll and adds one point to threat if an effect is rolled. Okay. So, so you didn't we roll get, an effect. So we get two momentum... Yeah. Okay. From how that nice is threat. worded, we get two momentum, and there's no threat. That is so weird. Because that if is... we roll, if we roll a, five, oh, I don't know if that okay. is. So uh, the reason why it'd be because this is one, this is two, and then these are the threat on the die, which would be your five. So we get one momentum six. back. Uh, no, you would get no momentum back because uh, there are two die sides that are blank. That's your one and your two. Oh. Okay. That's fine. Interesting. Uh, okay. it, was, but, it was worth a shot, though. But I would also love to use the momentum to give this task piercing to okay. ignore two resistance. Okay. So that we can add it to work. Perfect. Easily, easily done. So, uh, next stage in this task, uh, you are able to cobble together the bits and pieces of a body um tix is able to help you out and uh, you're able to get the, the base form down um what do you want to do next uh so uh, is nalani going to help with programming uh getting the the matrix nalani would, yeah. created mm -hmm. okay sounds good uh so nalani if you want to roll me a do you have engineering I have two in engineering. <laughs> you have con though, which is kind of like computer yes, I do. systems or controlling mm -hmm. computer systems. So yeah, give me a reason plus con roll. Uh, nice. And computer expertise again. Mm -hmm. I would love die. to do a help on this. Mm -hmm. Excellent. I have two successes. Two successes? Oh, wait. Can I help Sorry. with this? 
And I rolled a crit on my third dice. So that's, so that's four successes. Passes. Okay, and uh, Ruben, what was... Uh, you're helping as well? Yes. So, Am yeah. I also rolling con? You're rolling one die. Uh, and I'm going to say this is reason plus engineering for you. Okay. We'll stick to uh, your strengths. That is a 15, and my total is a 15. Lucky, lucky. So that's six successes. All I'm saying is we can make this thing breathe fire or have wings. Just keep it, just keep it simple. <laughs> How about claws? This is the other side to the room. It was like, please, just, no. Let, no. <laughs> I'm not I feel like letting, this is true. I'm, I'm not letting you have, <laughs> I'm not. That seems ineffective and unreasonable. <laughs> okay uh so uh that was how many successes total F six successes or it was me four and, and then one, one so it'd be five successes <laughs> okay with that you uh uh you attain uh a breakthrough yes sweet um Move your butt. I don't want you on my lap. Thank you. Um, so this doesn't actually earn you any more momentum uh, through this task, but it does earn you... Hey. Sorry, he keeps trying to get in my face, and I don't want him on camera. Oh. Stream cat. You're, you're very cute, but... Sir... Okay, so that uh, that brings us. Uh, to uh, a, a breakthrough. Uh, all right, third attempt. Uh, what are you doing uh, after you uh, basically the two of you construct this sort of neural uh, matrix uh, and mm -hmm. uh, this uh, this form. Uh, and the uh, the movement parts within. Uh, Dr. Tix, uh, was there a task that you would like to attempt? Um, I'm trying to think, because, like, what, I, I don't know what there is for me to do, except for be there for when I need to transfer. Uh, we could, we could argue that your xenoanthropology could be used to help apply, uh, uh, what would be construed as musculature and dermis to this android form. Okay. Uh, also, if you like, you could even talk to this uh, and see mm. what it needs. Mm. Yeah. Talk to the sprite, see what they need. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you, little sprite. What do, do you say to the little sprite? Their hands were my hands as I taught. <clears throat> Their hands were my hands as I taught myself to pray again in the quiet of my apartment. To let you out of this barren body. But I think we're both scared. What do you need for you? to be comfortable. I carry your heart with me. I am never without it. Anywhere I go, you go, my dear. Whatever is done by only me is your doing, my darling.
I fear no fate. Uh, make me a, make me a, do you have any command uh, under your belt? I have two belt? commands. Okay. I have two commands. Make me a, uh, make me an, in, make me a presence plus command. We have momentum. You do have momentum to spend for extra dice. Damn right. You can also spend threat. You can also buy an extra momentum with threat. Sir, I love you. Uh, I'm going to use I'm going to use one momentum. OK. You are down to your last point of momentum, folks. So th this momentum gives me an extra die or. Yes. Or okay. uh, or if you want, you can uh, you can also spend points of determination. If you wanted to spend a point of determination. I do have determination. I'll do it. Uh, I'll do, I no, have a I thing. Can, I, I, <laughs> well, this I will takes do... a while for a sec. Well, I actually have a thing that might be relevant. I oh. can burn my determination into three points of momentum, which Tix could use right now. Oh, okay. Uh, using Spirit of Discovery. Which uh, value are you calling upon, uh, Ruben? Uh, I... The community comes first. Okay. This is a this is a group project. None of this would happen without everyone helping. Okay. Yeah. I will. So if I I can use one to either get an extra die or use one to make it auto crit. Uh, you could use one to uh, make it as though you have a die that rolled uh, a. Um, uh, another thing you could do, uh, uh, is you could also spend momentum for additional work and, uh, so that way, uh, you get, um, an extra, uh, work on this task. Doesn't matter what you roll. You always have plus one it before any resistance. So it would erase your resistance. Okay. Or uh, you can spend one for piercing to ignore two resistance for the task. Ooh. Mm, this is tough. Do I want to auto crit or do I want to pierce the veil? I'm going to pierce. Okay. So that means that. Uh, you uh, erase any of the, uh, you erase the uh, resistance from this task. I gotta roll and then below. With presence and command. <laughs> What did you need so, to roll again? 10 and below. Barely skating by. <laughs> oh, barely. that's so lucky. But that's two successes, but barely skating by. <laughs> and with that, uh, you built this bot, you helped build this body. Uh, you form the uh, musculature, or uh, Ruben and uh, uh, Nalani build the musculature and the frame for this uh, but you talk to the program and set it at ease before it is placed inside the vessel uh, and uh, you all sort of gather around this thing with bated breath as it takes a second takes another second and you're not quite sure if the transfer is complete until it opens their eyes almost taking a breath I 
I had to warn you. You're all in danger. And that's where oh, we're going to end the session. God damn it! <laughs> Wait. Was it Nara's voice? Nara's voice came through the processor. This is, or, this is all that was left of me, and I had to warn you. You're all in danger. And that's where we're going to end the night session. Ah. Ah. Yes. That was great. Uh, I love that. Yeah. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by and uh, and hanging out with us tonight while we played The Lost Frontier, our Star Trek Adventures campaign. Uh, we'll go through our outros uh, from Yell. Uh, TLF cast. Uh, so that's where you can find uh, all our wonderful cast. Uh, start with Milan again. There you go. Uh, and we're going to start with Milan. Wait, what? Me again? Yeah. All right. Hello. I'm first. Milan, also known as Mallard on the internet. You can find me over on Twitter as Mallardman underscore on Twitch is just Mallardman. You should follow me on both of those places because I do things on them, particularly tweeting and streaming. Two things that are very fun. And if you like to see me tweet nonsense... Definitely, definitely follow, because I do a lot that often. Uh, you can find me every alternating Monday, starting Monday the 6th of June, on Neon Lights Roleplay, where I will be GMing Kindred of Fog City, a VTM chronicle featuring a name you might recognize, a couple of names, actually. D, it's the Riddla, and uh, I, I don't know, has Glyja been on this channel before? Uh, Glyja has been on Morning Ritual. Glyja from Morning Ritual, yes. Uh as well as some other incredibly talented people. Um, other than that, you can also find me this coming Wednesday for the finale of The Beaten and the Damned, a game of demigods, a PBTA system, where we are playing in the Percy Jackson universe. Uh, I am playing Viren, a absolute stupid dumb, dumb idiot, and I love him so much. He just makes the worst choices when it comes to his personal relationships. Uh, and you should go and watch that. And while you're watching that, watch all the episodes before it, too, because it's a good series. Um, I believe that's all I have to call out, so I'm just going to pass it that way. Wassa. Wassa here. Uh, g'day, everyone. Uh, thanks for coming by. My name is Wassa. I am on Wasabote on Twitter. Um, I am a writer, so I have written things for Sina Una, which is a 5e module. Woo! Thank you. Um, I have written for Mnemonic, Kids on Brooms, and Deimos Academy, which is coming up. They succeeded in the Kickstarter, which is exciting. So uh, find me on Twitter. I will be telling everyone about other cool things eventually. There is stuff in the works that is in the land of NDA, which hopefully will soon be removed. Um, I'm on here, and I will be on here again for something that is in the works, and uh, I don't know the date yet, Anita, uh, but We're it still is working on it. We're still working on getting a couple sponsors lined up, and uh, a couple other things uh, on the go. Um, but yeah. yeah, but something exciting is coming up. And uh, yeah, find me there. And thank you for being here. I will press up. Up. Ah, it's a me, the Hoosha Kid. Hi, I'm AJ, also known as Hoosha Kid. I'm a video editor, transcriber, streamer, voice actor, and producer. You can find me on the three T's of social media Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok as Hoosha underscore kid. So, I got a couple things going on. Sunday, May 29th, and June 5th, I will be in a Mecha Fate two-shot over on the Hype Goblin at 10 a.m. Uh, for those two days. Uh, I don't know what kind of character I will be playing yet, but I'm a I'm a be in a mech, and I'm probably going to smooch some space pirates. <gasps> Giant robots, pirates, mace, spooches. Amazing. I hope so. Uh, that is going to be DM'd by R Justice. RJ Justice, I think, is their username on Twitter, maybe? I don't know. Uh, uh, on the first Tuesday 
uh, 7.30 p.m. EST of every month. I serve Lord Quackers in Fallon Friends, a D&D 5e actual play found on the Misty Mountain Legends. As Dolph Fitzgerald, your cool bro halfling cleric domain of the waterfowl. Uh, as we know, I have terrible perception, even though I am a halfling and I am a cleric i should have high wisdom and i should be able to reroll once but i still roll low uh who needs to min max and uh the you know the the you know we're probably going to be attacked we're going to be attacked by arrows uh it, there's some things happening and uh i didn't notice and everyone else did so this is very similar to a different situation that happened earlier in the season uh yeah Available on every podcast service every other Tuesday in the midst of Giant Country. We have just finished arc with the prologue arc of through Hol- the D and D five E actual play through Hollow Flames. We are very much starting on our first story arc, in which we gotta hunt some some warlocks who did some stupid shit. Uh, we got to find them and if they attack us we kill them uh and uh yeah that's dm by the lovely it's the riddler uh i am also joined by uh mallard man milan also in that show uh i play boone riffin a half orc half lean and monk uh and you know i fought the ninja turtles that's fine it's cool it's a cool time uh on Wednesday, here on the Critical Misses, you can find me on. What? I said I can't give myself a shout out. <laughs> yes, you can. Uh, here on the Critical Misses, I will be appearing on the Queer Society Book Two uh, at seven thirty p.m. EST, uh, where I will be playing a new character. Five years in the future, set five years in the future from the last book. Uh, I'm going to just reveal my name. My name is Mr. Elijah Emerson. I may be, ref- uh, my character may be a certain uh, just insert from anime, but I'm, I won't tell. I'll never tell. You'll never tell. Uh, uh, and then uh, also on saturday well friday you can find me here uh uh star trek adventures lost frontier it's a great show you guys should come back more uh on saturday soon coming soon we will be me and we also will be in a D D 5 e show tentatively working. called tentatively called we still haven't quite figured out the title or a lot of things yet <laughs> We're working on it. But you know, it's in production, pre-production. if you want to sponsor that show, you can go over to criticalmisses at gmail.com and email us and give us support. And if you don't want to support us that way, you could always support the morning ritual on Patreon. I uh, soon we're gonna have a lot more content on there because we're just working on some stuff. And that's me saying that I'm going to work on some stuff. <laughs> uh, and uh, you can find that on patreon.com slash morning ritual. And speaking of morning ritual, I'm going to pass it on over to our lovely producer, GM, Anita. Hi, uh, I'm Anita. Uh, otherwise known as Panita or Critical Misses on the interwebs because uh, this is my channel. Uh, so you can find me here most times either in front of the camera or behind the scenes. I'm a TTRPG graphic designer. Uh, producer, cat mom, consultant? Maybe? Maybe. Uh, and uh, you can find me everywhere about the space. Uh, tomorrow morning, uh, first thing at uh, 8 a.m. Pacific time, uh, noon, no, 11 Eastern. That's the time zone. That's how that works. Uh, you can find me over on Morning Ritual uh, here. Uh, and our guest is Matthew Mercer. Uh, so we're gonna talk with uh, we're gonna talk with Matt tomorrow 
about things. He's, a, he's an up and coming kid. Uh, yeah, you know, it's, like I said, it's just a real good, uh, we did a real good job uh, bringing these up and comers into the scene and just uh, yeah. just letting them, letting, give them a nice little spotlight, letting them shine. Like we've yeah. had. And if you had, don't the, want him to be just paid an exposure, support Morning Ritual. <laughs> and I mean, we've had all sorts of wonderful people on Morning Ritual, including uh, AJ and Wasa. Not Milan yet. Yet. Not uh, yet. Yeah. Maybe. Soon. But uh, that's been us. Thank you all so much for joining us. Uh, we are going to go on a raid to our friends over at Let's Go to Game Nights uh, because uh, our good friend Sid is over there running uh, a good society mm -hmm. hack that's kind of Wicked and Divine style called Neon Gods. Uh, so we're going to send some love over to Game Nights. That's a uh, game with two Gs and Nights with a K. Uh, we're going to send some love over there. They've got a follow only or subscriber only chat. So give them a follow while you're there and go say hi and tell them we sent you and that uh, we love them very much. Uh, but yeah, until next time, everybody, clear skies, smooth sailing. Bye.